hosted MC for the evening. She was the winner of the 8th Annual Bloomington Comedy Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, Kristen Lucas. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, uh, welcome to Open Mic Night. Yeah, I have a, I had kind of a weird day today, uh, which seems to be the trend. That's well, fine. I'll tell you about it. Thanks for asking. Um, the first thing that was weird was I was confused for a guy that some people were waiting to meet with. And I know you guys wouldn't do that, right? You wouldn't judge somebody by what society said we're supposed to wear. I mean, you don't think I look like a guy, right? <laughs> Perfect. All right, cool. No, I'm just fucking with you. I get it. Like, uh, I'm pretty androgynous, I understand. And I, uh, I lean in pretty hard on the masculine side. Uh, yeah, but like, I don't, I don't identify as trans yet. Um, but that's just because my application's still pending. <laughs> so, here's hoping. Yeah, no, um, you guys know that, like, you, you see those videos that, uh, that parents-to-be put up on YouTube of the, the gender reveal? I should clarify that straight parents put up <laughs> to be on the, for the gender reveal of their babies. It's just like, sometimes I feel like my parents still want to do that for me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, um, another really weird thing today is, uh, about halfway through the day, I realized I had referenced Coyote Ugly way too many times, <laughs> which, uh, you might be wondering what I was doing. I was at work, uh, at a nonprofit that is a food pantry, uh, so tons of opportunities to bring up Coyote Ugly there. Um, yeah, no, but I did, I managed somehow. But it, it was weird because I, uh, I, I, was, I wasn't referencing any of, you know, the really popular lines from that movie, which I'm sure we all remember. Uh, yeah, no, I was referencing the really obscure lines from it, just to bring it home that, like, I definitely watched it too many times as, like, a coming-of-age queer teenager. <laughs> it was like, why do I like hugging girls so much? Oh, well, I'll just go watch Coyote Ugly again. <laughs> but, uh, it's fun, too, because then you can figure out, like, which of your coworkers are the characters in the movie, like, which one's the New York bitch? And uh, which one's the bar owner? I don't know, those are the two that I remember uh, from the movie, but um, cool. Any Coyote Ugly fans in the crowd? Does anybody not know the movie Coyote Ugly? Perfect, yeah, okay, well, you know, uh, Netflix, it's fine, it's cool. I hope they have it on Netflix. Do you think they have it on? They'll have it, just look it up. Um, yeah, so, uh, a couple weeks ago, a guy came up to me, and he just said, you look like someone that's pro-gun control. <laughs> All right. Uh, my response was, uh, listen, buddy, you can't just semi-automatically assume something. <laughs> Oh, the gun puns you love! Coyote Ugly, fuck it, but gun puns, alright, cool, that's right, that's, I don't know, I get where we're at here. No, I, uh, uh, another assumption that, uh, that's commonly made about me, which I'll, you know, touch back on, is, is that in fact, yes, that I am a dude. Uh, the inconvenient thing for me is that's usually processed in the women's bathroom. Yeah, it's a good time for everyone. Uh, I'll share with you a couple of my favorite situations that have happened. Uh, I remember being in the bathroom, just waiting for the stall, and this girl came in, and she stood next to me, and she was staring at me so intensely, and I was like, this has to be one of my friends. And then I looked over, and it wasn't. And uh, so I just stood there, and, and she was like, so what's a man doing in the women's restroom? 
I know. <laughs> I was there too. Uh, and I said the only thing you could say, which was, I don't know. Uh, should we ask him? <laughs> But you know, then she was all like, oh, well, you're a beautiful person. <laughs> I need that kind of condescending shit in my life. Uh, uh, another one, I like it. It's, this is good. It's just super aggressive and to the point. Where I had a, a girl go, yo, wrong bathroom. And I was like, no, it's not. And she was like, oh. <laughs> Well, I only saw you from the back. <laughs> I was like, well, that makes total sense. That is where I carry my dick in my back pocket. <laughs> Super sanitary. Highly recommend it. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> Ask around. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, if you were wondering if I am a Virgo, you would be right. Put your hands together for you. All right, intuitive crowd. Yes, I am a Virgo. <laughs> He's like, I, I knew. I knew. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, for a long time I wondered what does it mean to be a Virgo? And I got nervous that it meant I had to be a virgin forever. But then I got so good at masturbating that I was like, well, I should probably try this on somebody else. <laughs> uh, no, apparently what it means to be a Virgo is, I like making lists. You are right to hold your applause. Uh, yeah, but I found this out because there was, there was a girl that I had never met before and she was talking to a group of my friends and she was talking about how she was a Virgo, so naturally she liked making lists. And I was like, you know, on, on the outside, of course, to my friends, I was like, I don't think that makes sense. But on the inside, I was like, holy crap sticks, I'm a Virgo. And I love making lists. So naturally, we made out. <laughs> And the greatest part about making out with this girl is that I knew I could add her name to the list of people I'd made out with. <laughs> and she wouldn't even care. <laughs> so, uh, it's pretty great being a Virgo. <laughs> uh, something else that, uh, that happened uh, not that long ago that was pretty weird is I, I made a new friend. Uh, I had a guy approached me and a couple of my friends at a bar and he was like y'all like weed <laughs> like who's asking <laughs> he was like oh i'm selling some weed do you want some and i was just like that's not how you sell weed you know just walk up to strangers in a bar and just sell. maybe you do i don't know but back in my day you didn't um yeah, no, but then it got even better. We were just trying to play a, a lovely game of Quirkle at the bar, and he continued to, uh, to press, and he was like, oh, you guys know, yesterday I just gave the first tattoo I've ever given to myself. Do you want to see it? Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. In all caps, it just said FREEDOM on his arm. Bunch of freedom fans in here tonight. Okay, all right. I thought it was a bad tattoo. Uh, I didn't like that it was all caps. I didn't like that it was in wingdings. So. You guys can't do all caps wingdings. No, and I also the, the last part though that was really funny is this looked me dead in the eye, even though my girlfriend was right next to me, but. He, he looked me in the eye and he said, you've been gay your whole life? <laughs> and then, with me just going, oh, he, he went, followed that up with, uh, well, I've been straight my whole life. <laughs> I had a lot of gay friends, so I just really feel like I can ask these questions and break down boundaries. Freedom. <laughs> You can't do that. <laughs> That's all I have, but that was really fun to leave you guys like that. Alright, are you guys ready to get this show started tonight? Cool, thanks.